This is a really simple, cheap and easy aquaponic system over the fish tank. And rather than fish, I've got my turtles in here and we can see a couple of turtles hanging down the bottom there. And they do enjoy the whole climbing up here. But I wanted to show you how it works. And see, I've got some really lovely, healthy basil going here. This is what we call a nutrient film technique system. So it's just a piece of PVC piping. Um, I'm using 90 mil piping, which is four inches, whereas most people will use 100 mil, 100 mil piping, which is five inches. You know, and a reason for that is you're wanting to make sure you've got good water flow. So at the moment we have water coming up from a pump down on the left hand side. Water pumps up into this section here, whoopsie, and moves across. So when I plug in the right one, because of course I don't have the right, right one in, but I'm cleaning it today. So I've just turned that water pump on. Water is starting to pump along. It takes a few minutes to get going though. And what you'll see is the water will actually flow along the bottom of the PVC pipe, go out down the bottom and then come out at the back, which is really, really cool. But there's always a but. If you don't clean something, it gets really, really messy. And it's been a few, a few months since I've actually cleaned this. And at the moment, what we can see is that there is a whole heap of waste in there. And that's because if you don't have a mechanical filter, which is what we, have, what we call a solid waste. So if we don't pick up any of that solid waste from the fish or the turtles, it will actually build up there. And if it builds up, what happens is that PVC pipe will fill up like it's doing now and you don't get the strong water flow. And any moment we'll start to see that the water will start to flow over the sides. And that's because it's all clogged up. What we do is we have some type of net cup, often filled with expanded clay if you're going to use it as your biological filter, that sits inside those holes and the roots will come out and form all the way around. The roots can get super long and thick, especially when the plant itself gets a lot bigger. These are still small. But with all that solid waste, we can see that's right at the top now and is actually kept dripping over because there is not enough water flow happening through that pipe. It's all dirty. There's too much crap in there. So we need to clean out the crap, which is very easy to just give that a good clean. Now, I use turtles, as I said, and I do have a small mechanical filter, which is just this pump here. And again, it hasn't been cleaned. And because it hasn't been cleaned, it can't catch any more of that solid waste, which is why it has all built up in my filter there. So this is the mechanical filter that needs a good clean. <clears throat> if you keep it nice and clean, it also works as a biological filter. The biological filter is what converts all of the fish waste all the ammonia into fertilizer for the veggies. That ain't going to convert anything, that's just yuck. We also have expanded clay that would be really good as a biological filter. But we need to remember, the expanded clay is only going to get wet at a certain level. So generally halfway. So halfway here. So that means the biological filtration is only happening with the media down the bottom of this cup, not all of this dry media. So when we have the dry media on top, there's no bacteria, but we have the bacteria in the wet level. Works perfectly as long as you give it a clean. And that's the same with any aquaponic system. And it has been months since I've done anything except feed my turtles and check the water quality. So it's time to give everything a really good clean. And when I pull these out, which we'll do now, those roots should be nice and white and clean. And that is not what we want to see. <laughs> That is yucky. Okay, so I'm gonna be giving them a really good clean. I'll be able to pop them back in and that will mean that they'll be able to grow super duper healthy. So if you wanna see how I actually built this, stay on board, I'm gonna show you a fast forwarded view of how I built this and put this together so you can do it too. Super cheap and easy to build, but it's a great way to grow some herbs in over your fish tank as an indoor aquaponic system. Check out the description to find some more information about aquaponics and how you can move forward and get this happening.